Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. In this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about headless execution in UI automation using the Selenium web driver. Okay. Before we move on, let us try to understand what is headless execution. So headless execution is nothing but to run the test cases in the non-headless mode or non-UI mode meaning your Chrome browser will launch but it won't launch in the foreground it will launch in the background okay and you won't be able to see the execution okay this is about headless execution this is what is head headless mode right so every browser has its headless mode and the people are often confused between HTML unit driver and people often think like that is the only headless driver but that is incorrect understanding Chrome has its own capability to run it in background that is headless mode similarly firefox edge every browser has its own capability to run it in the background okay now in this lecture we are going to discuss how to turn on that capability because this capability is within the chrome driver firefox driver it's like uh, we need to like uh, turn it on okay then we will be discussing about constructor overloading if you look at this web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and i am passing new chrome options as well right so this is nothing but if i talk about this one this is constructor overloading because you see this is one constructor right and uh, the second one is uh, another constructor because it has a different argument it doesn't first one doesn't have any argument and this one has another argument right so i'll, I'll show you uh, uh, in the code let me jump onto the code side so i have created one basic code um, and this is a main uh, main class okay wherein what i'm doing i'm uh, specifying browser and i have written a basic switch case wherein i'm handling chrome and firefox so for chrome i am using this web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup to download the driver dependencies uh, and for Firefox, I'm uh, using web driver manager dot Firefox driver dot setup right to download the Firefox related uh, driver in the machine based on the uh, browser installed in the machine. Okay, so in this case, for example, uh, let me take Chrome. Okay, so what we are doing, uh, we are then initializing the driver equal to new Chrome driver, right? So if I'll uh, run the, this test case, uh, it will uh, launch the application in the UI mode. So the application which I'm taking for the execution right now for this uh, lecture is source demo, wherein I'm logging into uh, logging in with username and password and then clicking on login button. And later on, I'm verifying uh, products tag, right? So let me uh, run this execution and uh, you will get more understanding. So this is the uh, first time discussing how to run it in uh, UI mode or interactive mode or non headless mode. Right. Next, we'll be discussing about how to execute it in headless uh, mode. Okay. So if you will see the Chrome browser got launched, it has entered username and password and uh, logged in and you see the products is available, right? So it, this is what it has verified. I'm not, I haven't quit it. That's why this browser didn't got closed, right? Because I didn't uh, provide driver.quit. Now the question is how to like enable the headless capability so i have written some code in commented form first of all we have chrome options class and similarly for firefox we have firefox options class so using this class what we can do we can provide the capability to the driver okay to the chrome driver chrome options can provide not capability to turn on the capability i mean right so there are two ways to pass uh, the driver uh, like headless mode i mean to enable headless mode first one is uh, you create your object of it right and then after you see set headless it will turn it true this is one way right and if uh, for example uh, there is another way from options dot add arguments right if you for example now provide headless so both of these uh, options uh, will uh, ma uh, make it to run in the headless mode okay so in this case uh, we can use either of these right for example if i turn on this and uh, now let me run it you will observe okay that uh, chrome uh, browser won't launch but the execution will take place okay so i have uh, started the execution okay so you see chrome driver was started successfully yeah i think uh, we made one mistake what is that mistake we have created the chrome options class but we haven't passed it okay so i need to pass it here 
so we were just discussing like what is the difference between new chrome driver and chrome driver with chrome options so this is a difference when we are we want to enable some capability of chrome we need to uh, like pass those arguments so if now i will execute it will run in headless mode okay after defining the chrome options you will have to pass it uh, in the constructor So Chrome driver was started in the background, you see, and uh, it has uh, went through these steps, right? That's why it uh, reached till this uh, line number 39, and uh, we can see this is printing the message. Similarly, for Firefox also, we can do the similar thing. Uh, likewise, Firefox options, in this case, I will have to provide Firefox options class, and then enable set headless to add argument headless right so any of these options will work so let me show you like uh, both of the options will do the same functionality so let me turn on the first option and run it okay so this is uh, how we can run the test cases in the headless mode okay uh, so let me let it run so meanwhile like execution is taking place i'll request you to please uh, like share and subscribe this video and in case you need any further clarity on this please feel free to reach out to me via comment uh, within the video thank you for your support thank you for watching bye